What's up guys, it's your boy Liffy here. So today we're doing another community build review number two. Um, this one is called the Fallout Build. This came, I love the name. This build came to us from, uh, uh, it looks like his real name. I don't want to say his real name. Let's we'll just call him Ed Pfizer. Ed Pfizer. Um, love it, dude. I love the idea. 10 out of 10 for the name, right? Fallout Build. Um, and pretty much it fits the name perfectly. It's everything's revolving around radiation. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the build and I'm going to put it up on the screen as well as we are. I'm going to post some footage of us playing it through. I'm going to tr try to provide a little bit less footage of gameplay and a little bit more talking about the build. Um, I think that based on the feedback, that's kind of where we're headed on these community build reviews. Um, uh, but I love this. Thanks for all the feedback, everyone. We did play this through over um, during my live stream over on Twitch, which nice plug, Liffy, twitch.tv backslash L-I-F-Y, just saying. Um, so everything on this build, like I said, revolves around radiation. It's a cool premise, cool idea. Um, so pretty much the amulet is what's going to lock this down. Increased radiation damage by 15% and converts basic melee attacks from physical to elemental, um, which is whatever, uh, you know, as far as melee. So with, with this, we run with Defiler, common sense, right? Um, as radioactive volley, all the shots, basic shots are radiation as well. Alongside Beam Rifle, which is also a radiation weapon. Um, and then we're gonna take Breath of the Desert as the mod. Breath of the Desert is a great mod. It does a lot of damage. Um, fast regen on the Beam Rifle. So awesome pairing right there. Awesome, awesome pairing. Um, then for the armor, he went with the bandit armor. I'm sorry, guys. I have a skin on here, so well, this one's called the brigand and brigand, but it's the bandit armor. Uh, this this is has the freeloader perk. Chance to replace spent bullet on hit. Increases ammo acquired on pickup by 25%. Um, with this... Oh, I'm sorry. He actually had the, the lost harpoon here, the radiation weapon, which I don't really play with melee weapons, so it is what it is. Um, so I don't really have much of a review on that piece. Um, freeloader perk, chance to replace spent bullets on hit, increases ammo acquired on pickup by 25%. So you get a 35% chance here. This, this kind of stuff usually goes better with, uh, like single shot weapons like crossbow, ricochet rifle, sniper rifle, um, stuff like that. People like to use it. I'm personally not a big fan of the bandit armor just because it's light armor. And uh, since I'm not playing survival that much, this stuff will eat you up in uh, Nightmare and Apocalypse difficulty for the most part. Um, so you got to be careful. I think Apocalypse is pretty much going to be like a one shot. Nightmare is usually two shot on most stuff. So that's the problem there, right? So um, then he went with the Burden of the Gambler. Disables weak spot damage on bonus. Increases crit chance and crit damage by 25%. Well, 15% for crit chance, 25% for crit damage. Then he went with Devouring Loop. Critical hits have a 6% chance to deal four times damage. Devouring Loop is pretty much awesome in any build. Um, most builds all have inherent crit chance in them, making Devouring Loop good. So you don't really have to stack into crit chance um, in order to benefit from Devouring Loop. Of course, it is better if you do stack into crit chance because Devouring Loop will have more procs, um, but it's a great all-around ring, and it's a lot of fun, right? So while we were playing this and live streaming this build, we did run through Nightmare Difficulty um, in Resum, uh, in, in Adventure Mode, um, and based on Twitch and its feedback, um, one thing that they, they elected they probably would change out is, is mostly the armor, because what this build's trying to do is, um, it has like kind of an identity crisis, right? Like, you're disabling weak spot hits, right? And we're all going crit crit chance and crit damage, which is cool, but the weapons don't really play into that, and the armor doesn't really play into that. Let me rephrase. If you ran with Radiant Armor Set, a three-piece Radiant Armor Set, your weapons are not only going to have um, increased crit chance and crit damage, this is going to be a lot better play. So, there's two options here one replace the armor out with radiant and you'll have probably a better look as far as damage and dps and survivability but also replacing the ring out um burden of the gambler it's a it's an okay ring uh, but it doesn't really fit with this setup right so 
you have a lot of options available even something as simple as like braided thorns um if you wanted to play into the mods more you could do even do follower this ring is amazing and is probably one of the best rings in the game right now uh, mod power regen by 100 is insane even though you have this fire rate reduction it's okay because breath of the desert right here is insane so it is a great mod um if you ran with burden of the follower something like this uh it's an awesome build you could even run lab armor or radiant armor and you could still keep devouring loop in this right labyrinth armor is one of my favorite armors you know most favorite armors in the game um and right here like if you ran it with something like this your breath of the desert even your defiler shots it's gonna be ridiculous it's gonna be awesome um you also have uh what did i say radiant you can run with radiant armor you also have options here such as like prismatic ring uh prismatic diamond ring right uh, but overall the build was good. It was fun. I love the name I love the look of running with the bandit armor. It felt awesome um, It looked awesome. You did kind of feel like you were playing fallout so that right there I mean, it's like bonus points in my book um, There is some areas of improvement as far as the armor selection and the burden ring is kind of like hit or miss um, So those those are the slots that I would take a look at um, without changing the build too much but overall awesome so thanks guys i'm gonna we're gonna cut to a quick clip hopefully not make the video too long i think we did this over on nightmare difficulty as always test the builds in nightmare before moving on up there's a little more balance that way um i appreciate you guys follow like subscribe and we will see you guys on the next one hit me up with your builds in discord um or youtube comments is fine and uh we can do another playthrough like this i appreciate it Hot off yeah for sure. I think, but like, the build, we're calling this bad boy fall, the Fallout build. Which somebody recommended on YouTube. And I think that right there, aesthetically, dude, nailed it. 12 out of 10. That's for sure. 100%, dude. So if you want to play like that, you know what I mean? Then, uh... I think he nailed it. Dude, that's like 60% of my health. You can't dodge right away. Yeah, Defiler is definitely not doing us anything on this fight. No! Oh, that delay. Okay. <gasps> Fucking tilted, dude. Fire it. Oh, fuck.
Uh oh. Not like this! Dude! Reload! Dude, the frog...